What is your opinion of the movie Alice in Wonderland? Please give a review of the movie. <laughs> it was good. It had moments that were good, and it had moments where it was kind of like uh, WTF. But the, the good moments, like the costume itself, they had very good designs. Um, makeup, it was an interesting uh, concept, but sometimes it felt like it was overdone, like with um, the Mad Hatter, they had him almost looking like something from as uh, Cirque du Soleil. And, um, but they had an interesting effect when he would get angry, his eyes would turn orange. And then when he calmed down, he would go back to his green color and he'd be like all happy. Um, I can't remember. Uh, I didn't think the 3D was really necessary because uh, it was a nice effect to have it kind of like it was surrounding you. But uh, for having something pop out at you, it didn't really do uh, much at all. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Did you have a favorite character in the movie? My favorite character was the, the Bloodhound. Um, I liked his story the most because um, he was the, the kind of like the hero behind the scene that wanted to save his family but would had to betray the the heroine, just the, the heroine, <laughs> the, heroine the, the hero to just, you know, save the day. And he kind of, you know, brought Alice to the Queens and made it kind of better. Did you have a favorite moment or sequence in the movie? Uh, my favorite moment was when the Mad Hatter retold the story of how uh, the Red Queen came into the scene. Uh, how like she kind of just destroyed everything and everything kind of burst into these beautiful colors, uh, the flame and how uh, it kind of gave the Mad Hatter a, another dimension, uh, a more uh, feel to him, like he wasn't just a mad hatter, he actually loved his home. This is why he's crazy, and it was neat to see. Um, do you have any last thoughts on the movie? Um, uh, the Red Queen, I thought the head thing was overdone. The giant head, I just didn't really see why that kind of had to be the issue between the two sisters. Uh, and. Um, Tim Burton altogether knows how to make good movies, maybe besides that one Batman movie, but the rest of them uh, are pretty neat. Uh, this one was kind of different uh, because of like how he, uh, like I keep saying, the colors. I mean, he doesn't use a lot of colors in a lot of his things, besides like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And maybe he could have used, besides uh, somebody else for the Red Queen, besides his wife, because it's uh, people and are starting to think that it's she's he's just using her because she wants to be there, but uh, it's all good. <laughs>